Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kiana and I do a lot of sewing and fashion videos. Today, I have a really exciting video for you. As you can see, I have a bunch of shoemaking materials around me because we are going to be making shoes. Yes, we are going to be making shoes from home. I personally didn't even know it was possible to make shoes from home until I heard about the brand I can make shoes. So the brand I can make shoes is kind of like your one-stop shop for everything shoemaking. They have supplies, equipment, courses to teach you how to make shoes. Hey guys, Kiana from the future here. I just came to give you a little spoiler alert to tell you that I did in fact enjoy my shoe making process. And if you do want 10% off your order from I Can Make Shoes, I have a discount code. It is Kiana Can Make Shoes. And that code does expire this Friday at midnight Eastern time. And just a disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. This is not an affiliate link. This is just a discount code if you guys want to use it. But I will let you know that I was gifted all the supplies and materials to make this pair of shoes. But yeah, so if you do want 10% off your order, my code is Kiana can make shoes. Okay, so I'm super excited to start making some shoes. So first of all, I'm going to be making some boots. And as you can see here, I have all of my materials still. So obviously I have not made the boots yet. Okay, so here's a picture of the boots that I am planning on making. As you can see, they are split color, like red on one side, pink on the other side. Here are the fabrics that they have given me to work with, perfect. They go perfectly with my sketch. So my red, my pink, and then the ivory for the heel and the strap. And then this is for the lining. I was inspired by my Heartbreaker collection for these shoes. If you know, you know. So here are all the materials I'm going to be using for the shoe making. This, very exciting. I have some lasts as they call them. I also have heels, randing, zippers, sandpaper, stiffeners, felt, foam, cutting, heating mat. I thought that this was a heat mat. Like I thought this was a cutting and heat mat. Oh my gosh, I've been using my heat gun on this. This is the soles. This is the soling of the shoe. I need to, <laughs> what is wrong with me? I can make shoes were also kind enough to already pre-pattern the boots for me based off of my measurements. They also sent me a beginner's toolkit, which had a bunch of stuff in it. Also, I do have my iPad over here. I'm going to be following along with their course, specifically their beginner's guide to home boot making. Yesterday, I spent the day watching through the entire boot making course, just so I kind of know what I'm getting myself into today. So like, I don't mess anything up, hopefully. Okay, so I'm gonna clear off my workspace. Okay, so I have my pattern pieces here. The pink leather is going to be the outside of the shoe. The red leather is going to be the inside. I'm going to cut out this piece. Wait, maybe I should get my pattern weights and do this like how I actually cut out patterns in real life, real life. Okay, so I have all my pattern pieces now. I've already prepped one of the outsides and lining for sewing. So I have this, I'm gonna place my pattern on it. Okay, right now I'm marking where I'm going to put the zipper. And after watching her tutorial, it seems like basically just how we would put in like a centered zipper in a garment. So we already know how to do that. So putting this zipper in, should be quite easy. Okay, I marked where I'm gonna put the zipper and now I just have to cut it. I have to cut it really neat. She's cut, there's no going back now. Okay, everything is lined up. We got our two inner layers of the boot ready to go. And now I'm going to sew them on my sewing machine. Here she is. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna come bring you guys in closer so you can get a different angle and see what I'm actually sewing. Okay, so now we're over at my sewing machine. I'm ready to stitch my boot. I've already done a bunch of little test pieces um, because I wanna make sure that everything turns out good. I am going to put in the zipper a little bit differently. Well, I'm gonna stitch it just a tiny little bit differently um, because um, I'm just doing what I'm comfortable with. Okay, so I've sewed my zipper in. Next step is to connect the outside lining and outside pink panel piece to the shoe. I've already done it again on this piece 
And this, I feel like, might be the scary part to some people. This was not the scary part to me. Probably won't be the scary part to you because I know most of you guys are seamstresses. For us guys, this is the easy part. I'm supposed to place my pieces like right sides together and like put a strip of glue to hold it together and then sew it. And I was gonna do that and then I was like, wait, girl, I don't need to do that. I don't wanna be cocky. I don't wanna be overconfident, but I do feel pretty confident in my sewing skills to be able to sew this seam without having the leather move around. So I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just gonna be taking my good old fashioned clips that you guys know I love when I'm working with faux leather. And so I'm gonna use that for this leather. Okay, so it is clearly a new day. I have changed clothes. I'm struggling right now. I'm using this tool called the safety beveler, beveler, safety beveler. <laughs> and it scares me a little bit. Like I'm supposed to be like reducing the bulk and like shaving my boot, but it is very scary to me because I don't want to like, shave too much off, you know? Okay, I'm done with that. That's enough. That was too scary. Okay, here comes the fun part. I'm excited. I wanna flip it inside out, ready? Ready? Look at that. That is a shoe. That is a dang shoe right there. Let's put it on. Ta-da! There it is. Here is our shoe. It's done, we're done. Goodbye, video's over. Okay, so it is clearly a new day again as I'm changed and wearing my favorite sweatshirt with my favorite human being from Criminal Minds on it. Honestly, I didn't do a lot yesterday. I got a little frustrated with the gluing. I was sad that like one of them wasn't perfect, so I stopped. And I actually had a lot to do yesterday, so. But we're back and I'm ready to cover my insoles. They already um, trimmed the insoles for me, so I don't have to worry about that. But now I'm just gonna cover them yeah i know i'm only like halfway through these shoes but i definitely want to make some other shoes i mean we're close to summer i think it would be fun to make some sandals also i know it's ambitious but i think i'm going to try and finish the shoes today because today is thursday and i want to get this video edited tomorrow and i want to take pictures of these shoes already like this is so cool i can't believe i'm gonna have my own shoes like pretty darn cool Okay, I feel like this is the most exciting part now because I feel like this is where you start seeing it as a shoe. So I have my soles, my insoles taped on my lastings. And so this is the part where I place my fabric on my lastings and like start shaping my shoe. Things are happening. See this? Things are happening. Ah. Okay, so now I'm just going to last the liner and then add the stiffeners and then last the upper. And then after that, I'll be like so close to being done. What up, KB channel followers, subscribers? <laughs> okay. Peter, <clears throat> <laughs> don't do it. You stop. It's for, it's for the sound check. You're ruining it. I'm trying to do a sound check. Stop. 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 <laughs> Okay, hello, I'm back. It is a few days later. I did not do this for a couple days, one, because I got my COVID vaccine and I felt a little bit down. I still feel a little bit down. I'm also wearing the same dress as a couple of days ago because outfit repeating. I'm here with Cody. What's up guys? <laughs> <laughs> and Cody is going to help me with the heat gun. Um, not because I can't do it by myself. I, I have some confidence that I'd be able to do it, but because this is not mine, this is Cody's dad's heat gun. And I one, want to be respectful and not break the heat gun because I feel like I'm clumsy and I could potentially do that. Um, and then also he can deal with the dangerous tools and not me, but I would be able to do this by myself. So if you're like worried about doing it by yourself, you definitely could. Um, we're just gonna let Cody deal with it today. Is there anything you want to say about the heat gun? No, it's pretty easy. There's literally three buttons that you press and then a fourth to cut it off and then it cools down by itself. So mm -hmm. simple stuff here. Thanks, David Nance. <laughs> Shout out to David Nance. Okay, okay, we're gonna apply the stiffener. Here we go. <laughs> okay. I think this is hot enough. I don't know, test it out. 
Okay, to be honest, this was actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. It was super easy to just heat it up real quick and then put it on the shoe. Um, so yeah, it was not nearly as scary as I thought it was going to be. And then after I added both the toe and back stiffener, I just filled up my soles. Actually, I lasted my uppers first and then I filled the soles with some felt and then I just trimmed that down and then I covered both of my heels with the ivory leather. Okay guys, I've now popped open a window because I'm about to work with the toxic glue again. I'm excited because we are nearing the end. Our shoe is almost done. I have my heels covered. Oh, there's the other one. Here are my heels and I got my shoes and I'm going to attach some randing. Now in my original design, I was not planning on like attaching this. It's like not necessarily required, but I also had no idea what this was beforehand. And I think that adding this to the feather edge, as they say, the outer edge of the base of the shoe will just like kind of elevate it, make it look a little bit more professional. Also, I thought that this was a heat mat. Like I thought this was a cutting and heat mat. And you've seen me cut on this with like a razor and you've, oh my gosh, I've been using my heat gun on this. This is the soles. This is the soling of the shoe. I need to, I need to use this. Thank goodness that this is some hefty durable material because there are like no problems in it. Like, it bounced back there's nothing wrong with it and thank goodness because i need to use this for the sole of my shoe what is wrong with me but you know what we all make mistakes and hey it's okay it worked out so it's fine okay so this is where we are right now i have attached the soles um basically i have to remove what is this thing called? The lasts um, next, and I have to drill in the heels, but I am waiting for Cody to do that. So while I wait for him, I'm gonna get moving and continue trying to get my vision. So if you look at the sketch, oh, there's the sketch. So if you look at the sketch, you can see I have these little heart charms. So I'm going to work on creating the strap first from this ivory leather which is what i use to cover the heels so it's kind of like a little bit cohesive there i'm also going to use these little connectors to like piece the strap together and then i have the jump rings to connect the charms to the connectors okay now so i've done a bunch of calculations to figure out how much strap i'm gonna need where my connectors are gonna go everything down to the tenth of a centimeter i am going to cut out my straps to size, um, and hopefully it should work. <laughs> Hello, we are back. Cody's back um, because he is going to do the breaking of the last and also the drilling. <gasps> Look at that, that's a shoe. <laughs> Look at that, it held its shape. Up. Okay, we're doing the other shoe. We had some technical difficulties with Cody's drill on the other one. So I don't think we showed that, but yeah, we're gonna show you this one now. So I'm gonna do it. Cody's now gonna drill into the shoe and the heel. Okay, and then last but not least, I just finished creating that strap with the charms that I was talking about earlier, and then I just added a little foam pad and sock pad to the insoles. And then after that, I was done. finally done i had so much fun making these shoes over the past week i think they will be a great addition to my heartbreaker collection that i've been working on yeah it's just super cool to make a really unique pair of shoes that you know are one of a kind it's been a really fun experience learning all about shoe making and i would definitely do it again and don't forget that if you want 10 percent off your order from i can make shoes then you can use the code 
Kiana can make shoes until Friday at midnight Eastern time. But yeah, if you wanna see more photos of these shoes up close and personal, then definitely check out my Instagram and TikTok. My handle is Kiana Bonolo. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching my shoe making experience because I know I had a lot of fun creating these shoes. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.